Panda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com. I can't say my word today. And today we're going to talk about nasal hygiene, specifically nasal hygiene in different cultures, how it's managed, and how it's directly related to growing improperly in terms of orthodontics. So let's talk about that. So as you've probably never even heard of nasal hygiene. So it's just like oral hygiene, it's nasal hygiene. Your, na your nose, it's never gonna be like sterile, but it needs to be clear and open and patent so that you can breathe through your nose. If you do not breathe through your nose, where are you breathing? Through your mouth. Mouth breathing is bad, bad, bad. And I'm not even gonna go into the whole mouth breathing thing because I have tons of videos on mouth breathing and why it is bad. So whether you're sick, you're not sick, you have allergies, there's no excuse. You have to keep your nose patent and open. And that's why daily nasal hygiene is super, super important. Now, I started adding this to my daily hygiene routine oh, a while ago. I'm not always fantastic at it, but I do my best. And it was something even when I had little kids, I was always into nasal hygiene with the kids, making sure that they're actually not just wiping their nose, but blowing their nose all the time. And it just blows my mind in American culture, how many kids are walking around with runny, drippy, unblown noses, and the parents might come and wipe it, but they don't blow it. And they don't teach kids how to blow their nose. And I'd see kids in ortho offices all the time with crusty, runny noses and I'm like, do you have allergies? And they just, they don't know how to blow their nose. It, it just, it blows my mind. It blows my mind, literally. You know, it's snot okay. <laughs> Got the pun? Snot okay. So anyways, so I started going through this whole rabbit hole in preparation for this video. And it was super interesting. I'm interesting. I'm certainly not an anthropologist or, you know, anything like that but it was really interesting and, and obviously i live in hawaii so it's a big asian presence and i've noticed things are different here in terms of taboos for different cultures in some cultures like i i may be wrong so you guys can correct me and please do put in the comments section if i am wrong but i've noticed japanese cultures it's very very improper to blow your nose in public that is unacceptable i remember one time i was on like a and a flying through tokyo going someplace i just blew my nose on the plane i had my own seat i wasn't even sitting next to someone and all these eyes were looking at me like and someone said you can go to the restroom for that and i was like whoa you know that's interesting because that's totally socially acceptable in the u.s but it's clearly not in some cultures and then there's other cultures um you go to chinatown here in, in honolulu and there are people who fall on they'll plug one nose and they'll sh blow a snot rocket out the other nostril on the ground right in front of your feet that is gross i mean to me that's gross but it's socially acceptable and and according to my brother who lived in china for many 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 years um very immersed in the culture, um, stu super socially acceptable. You can totally shoot snot rockets wherever you want on public streets, totally fine. Snot is good. So, eh, you know? And then I was reading that in African culture, it is totally socially acceptable for a mom or a grandma or an auntie when a child is sick to put their mouth over the child's nose and suck out the snot with their mouth. That's gross. Makes sense. I mean, hey, if they don't have one of those little bulby things, I mean, obviously there was no little bulby things back in tribal times or in tribes. So they, I mean, hey, I respect the point of it. That's actually really, really smart. Gross, but smart. Um, but I respect the heck out of that. That's pretty cool. I do also know that there is um, a lot of research and I'm forgetting the name of the researcher right now, but I could definitely get it if you want to know it. The guy's name is George starts with last name starts with a C but um, he in the 1800s he did a lot of research with Native Americans where he noticed that it was very much important for them to keep their navel, nasal passages open especially in adults and in kids um, they definitely would make sure the babies could breathe at night they would close their mouths it was very very bad for a child to have their mouth open when it wasn't supposed to be open um, and keeping nasal airways patent. And he also noticed a direct correlation between really well-shaped jaws and faces in the Native American, you know, indigenous populations versus the Caucasian populations. And, and he actually speculated it had something greatly to do with nasal passages being open. So yeah, I wanna bring up the whole point of nasal hygiene. I would like to hear what you do in your culture what do children what do they do with children how do they is it something that's valued that they need to do it i know like i said 
I definitely, I feel like most Americans do not understand the point of keeping noses clean, especially in kids and teaching kids how to blow their nose. That just that blows my mind. How, how that is not okay. I can't say that so many times. It's so funny. But anyways, love to hear your thoughts. And yeah, a new nighttime routine for you. Nasal hygiene. All right. Thank you.